Travis Scott's apology was kind of whack too. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like here, let's let's get let's get started on the Travis Scott stuff. Obviously, a lot of the videos are TOS, so I can't watch it on stream. But I also haven't really seen all the videos. So if there's a compilation of all of it, I can like watch it on the other screen and give you my take on it afterwards because I still haven't seen most of the videos. But I just want to send out prayers to the is when I drink. to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans, like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just ago. really want to leave them with a positive experience. And anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on. Any yeah, the part, the parts that I did see, thank you for the five gifted Sanju. Uh, the parts that I did see, I told you, like, it literally looks like straight ritualistic sacrifice. So like any conservative that watches that shit is going to wow. straight up. Any conservative that watches that shit is going to be like, so oh, nice I knew it. Know. Like, this is ritualistic sacrifice. Like a uh, black man doing doing rap music is killing the teenagers like because especially when he's humming dude it's crazy like that video when he's humming over the uh what you call it over like the crowd as they're like literally trying to body surf the kids away dude some shit happened okay you want to know what my speculation is i don't think that like someone was jabbing people with needles but i do think that maybe someone was distributing like bad bad dose of drugs okay that's my speculation don't get mad at me I think like just like a crazy some some crazy shit most likely a lot of drugs get passed around in concerts like this and you know you always have to be careful don't do drugs at concerts like or don't do other people's drugs at concerts like this obviously test it get your test kit ready to go beforehand you know what i mean like there's just there's shit like that uh bad organization played a uh, role like people were overcrowding uh areas okay overcrowding areas that they weren't supposed to be in there was no like precautions to to stop in, in a situation like that hassle people were trampled not people just literally got trampled or there were people like seizing up on the ground dude i mean that was just nuts there was a there was a major issue with overcrowdedness too um, Live Nation were the organizers behind the Astro first and has a history of multiple OSHA violations. That is not surprising. <sighs> a crowd safety expert says the surge of Travis Scott Astro World Festival wasn't the concert goer's fault. A crowd of safety experts said the chaos of the rapper Travis Scott Astro World Festival was preventable. At least eight people died and hundreds were injured during the first night of the Houston event. The expert said organizers let people flood into a known danger area just in front of the stage. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like there was so much overflow. Um, Sean C made a video about this. All right, I'll, I'll watch his video about it. I, apparently, he blurred oh, some of the TOS stuff. This is stuff. precisely why I'm not generally a concert goer unless the artist is an indie artist. They don't have a large fan base. Capitalism beckons. For the record, like, I despise festivals for this reason. I briefly talked about this. I briefly talked about this yesterday on the ride down to, to Long Beach when I was, like, not able to look at all of this stuff, uh, all the stuff that was going on. But, like, this is why I hate it. You're literally braving the elements to, like, listen to your favorite artist for, like, a little bit uh, on the uh, highest, fuck, you know what I mean, on, on a, a boatload of drugs. And it sucks. It's, like, not overall a fun experience. Like, I mean, it can be really fun, but also it's just there are better, there has to be better methods of consumption. I've literally never went to a, I've never been to a concert where I'm like, or a festival where I'm like, fuck man, this is really good. Like, and I've been to a fuck load of festivals, dude. Like it's just, it's not for you. Shut the fuck up. I'm just saying like, Love it's yourself. just, it's, it's unpleasant. Okay. It, it's unpleasant. Like there's, there are, you know, I still have fun in the end, but you know what I mean? I ultimately, I still have fun in the end, but it could be so much more fun if it was like better managed and obviously we're talking about something that's like subjective so don't get mad at me festival goers did you ever go to ultra when you were in miami yes of course i, I lived in miami i went to all the winter music conference shit uh i went to ultra i've been to edc i've been to day glow I, I used to rave like i used to go to raves and shit you know what i mean it's just like i hate being in the mud and not having access to water and having to pay like a gigantic markup for basic amenities that are life-saving okay and it just sucks. You just yeah. no service. You lose your friends. You're like lost forever. Impossible to link back up. Like there's just a lot of shit that can go wrong that does go wrong. And and you know I I just don't like going into the middle of the desert and paying like you know ten dollars for a bottle of water. You Otherwise I'm gonna die. Justice, you love your father. I'm dehydrated. There's mud and dust everywhere. If it's not dusty, it's muddy. 
If it's not muddy, it's dusty. And you're paying like a gorillion dollars to drink water and survive while you're fucking on drugs. And it kind of sucks. That is like most of the uh, mainstream festivals. Or their fan base isn't typically above the age of 25 to 30 years old. My experience, this is typically... Uh, Abby behavior that I would expect from an artist who's younger that generally has a younger fan base. So Travis Scott definitely fits the bill for the tragedy that happened uh, last night at his festival. So the idea of people being trampled, people being stampeded on, people being uh, walked Demo over, stepped you. on, smothered. I fully expect that kind of at a Travis Scott show. Travis has enabled this behavior before. He's encouraged it through previous tweets. Why I would never attend a crowded venue or uh, an overly populated show. It's never a good idea to be mixed in with that That's many tame. people. I mean, I, I felt- They are life-changing experiences though. Wait, what? Bro, at the level of drugs you're taking for that to be a life-changing experience, like you could probably have that you could have a similar life change experience in your living room okay 16 months like okay. you're just Damn, literally cute. the only way that a festival can be considered a life-changing experience of that magnitude is if you're high as giraffe pussy okay felt this way since that vegas tragic when you have this much overpopulation in one specific area in the event of an emergency having to mass exit the area within a few minutes. It's impossible to get anywhere and get anywhere safely without the fear or very strong possibility of being stampeded upon. Like, don't get me wrong. It's still fun. Like, I, I don't disagree. It's fun, dude. It's fun, okay? You don't have to, like, feel bad about it. I'm not trying to get you to feel bad about it. Like, it's fun. I enjoy it. I'm saying it could be so much better. I don't enjoy it anymore, but it could be significantly better as an experience, okay? Trampled, suffocated, misplaced from the people that you originally came with. Now, I'm always looking at the business side, the business aspect of it, and the business of this show is absolutely terrible. Why is it that this same lot that's been used for years for a smaller crowd is also being used uh, years later for a bigger crowd? Significantly bigger. More people are buying tickets as the years progress and then the same lot is being used. Staffing for these shows typically suck, especially after COVID. So you have an overcrowded show with staff that can't possibly uh, answer whatever the call of emergency is. People are complaining that people broke through the gates and that security wasn't doing anything. There is like three security guards in this one clip. There. It what is happening with this super distorted Fiona is here? She Bro, are you okay? What happened? Um, he incited his fans to be reckless. There have been multiple instances of him doing this. Dude, come on. It is impossible to contain this many people with this level of staff. You think this one guy is going to block everyone from getting in? You have to keep into account what a security guard is even legally able to do or obligated to do in certain situations. They can't even touch you in certain situations. Two water stations built for a crowd of over 50,000 people over the course of two days. I know there are people that are going to cite all of Live Nation's uh, follies and everything that they've done wrong over the course of the past decade or so or even longer than that, but keep in mind Live Nation is a billion dollar company and with any company that makes that amount of money you're going to have um, citations you're going to have uh, lawsuits you're going to have plenty of violations over the course of your business because business is business business nothing just runs smoothly all the way through just because you make a ton of money that being said this overpopulation and this consistent understaffing seems to be too normal of a thing with this particular company the fact that this video even happened and you understand that it was before any deaths had even occurred shows me the negligence of the people that are running the show or that have the ability to prevent a show from starting after seeing this the immediate protocol should just be you know what we're not even going to have the show or we're going to uh cut yeah the no this is before the show they break through uh the barriers and shit um watch the trailer for the event there's literally footage of gate rushing from prior years is that not inciting <sighs> okay I'm gonna, as always, have a balanced take on this, 
which is precisely why I will upset the people that go to festivals all the time by saying festivals are kind of dog shit. And then I will upset the people that hate festivals by saying this kind of stuff happens at festivals all the time. And it's not out of the, it's like commonplace and not out of the norm. And like part of the reason why they don't stop festivals when this shit happens is because it happens regularly. Okay. So that is literally like, I'm just going to piss off every single person with that reason. Part of the reason why I don't go to festivals is because it does happen. This shit does happen regularly. Centrist Festival Andy. Lamont, good job. You found the dumbest possible take. It's not the dumbest possible take. Festivals are incredibly difficult to manage overall because people go buck wild, okay? And festivals would not be fun if people didn't go buck wild. So like part of the reason why people can do that is so that they can go buck wild at a festival and like listen to their favorite artists and go crazy and like jump up and down, you know, do drugs, all the shit. So... People get injured regularly at concerts like this. I think that like uh, putting the blame on the artist for his music or like an incitement or anything like that, even though Travis Scott is like literally has, uh, I think he has like a charge from the past. Let's see. Travis Scott concerts are known for violence and injuries report show. Like this is what I'm saying. Every single concert, most festivals of this size have this shit, dude. This is like the Woodstock conversation all over again. But people should not die. Like, people should not die at festivals, obviously, or concerts. <sighs> she knew the area wasn't safe. Some real victim blaming. Wait, no, I'm not saying that at all. Okay. I do think that no one should die. I think festivals should be better managed. We all agree on that issue. 1,000%. We are all in agreement. No one is going to be like, dude, yeah, people should die at festivals. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> No, dog. People should die at festivals, bro. Like I, I didn't, I did not say that. You know what I mean? And I do think that Travis Scott could have actually prevented some of the issues. Literally, like if he stopped, if he was adequately informed that like people were, it was chaos on the ground beyond like the regular chaos at a a, a festival that's like raging and and going buck wild. Okay. If there was like an actual serious situation where like the festival needs to be stopped, which this was, this absolutely was. I've been to hundreds of concerts. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Also, the cameraman ignoring that girl screaming. It's not a festival if people don't die. Kidding, kidding. Travis was literally staring at the dead body, humming. How can there be any doubt that he's not at fault? I saw that video too. That video is is insane, dude. Like that video is absolutely insane. It's an it's an it's a crazy video. Um. As far as like seeing ambulances and stuff, like, you know, people, people pass out from dehydration and shit like that at festivals regularly for the reasons that I already described to you. Adequately informed, bro. People were storming the stage. Okay. Let's, let's look at the timeline after this video. I'll look at the timeline as well. The amount of people that are able to attend at this point, because this is ridiculous. You have people stampeding at this stage. They haven't even seen Travis yet. Police departments, the fire departments, the medical staff. How is it that... And I know this is the state of Texas that we're talking about. You know, this is already a breeding grounds for the worst situation humanly possible. But how do you look at true. this true. particular lot? Say that it's suitable for 50,000 people and whoever makes the decision to okay that says okay. I think it's suitable to have two water stations serving a 50,000 people crowd plus more understaffed security, understaffed medical. The amount of people that these specifications, these numbers have to go through before it receives an okay is ridiculous to me that it was still given the thumbs up. Looking at this before it even happens, is it looks like a breeding ground for disaster. Apparently some of the healthcare workers who were actually at the event said that they were undersupplied. No AED, no stretcher, no gloves, no ambu bag. So we already have an overcrowded event with understaffing and now we don't have enough supplies to take care of the people if there is a crisis and that's just referencing the people who died there were hundreds of people who were injured but the number of people whose lives were put in jeopardy in a situation like this is well into the thousand the show organizers live nation houston harris county we have to get through this many systems before this show is even given the okay and it still got the okay knowing how it looks that the only thing that um the only thing that like absolutely without a doubt puts uh travis scott like i think beyond a reasonable doubt at fault is if the cops and the emts reached out to live nation to stop the event as they are saying now eight minutes in and then the show went on for another hour then he 1000 percent if he heard from a stage manager or someone to stop the production and refused to do so, that's really f***ed up.
like if he's informed of casualties and and continued the the concert then yes it is insanely morally abhorrent irresponsible and he will probably uh he will probably literally face uh incitement to riot as he has in the past and also on top of that um face like criminal penalties as someone who's done medical work for large sports events like Iron Man, it absolutely is unacceptable to have none of that equipment. To the side for a moment, I just wanted to address the fan base. Travis Scott has fans similar to what you might think a Lil Uzi has, a Playboy Cardi. People who listen to this type of music, who think, um, you know, it, it's rage music. I, I mean, I hate that term. I want them to just see this. The next time you think about paying for a show and to do more research about where a show is located, the amount of people that are going to be there, the tickets that are sold and how uh, the artist. Yesterday was cops lie. Don't believe everything they said. Now that they're saying it's Travis fault, they believe it. I mean, if they went to Live Nation, um, that's a little bit that's like easier to contract than just straight up being like, we have <clears throat> we can't confirm yet. But like it, someone, some crazed drug user might have been dosing everyone with fentanyl by jabbing people. That's a little bit beyond the pale and like more similar to the way cops lie versus like something that is incredibly easily trackable that they literally went to Live Nation and, and wanted the concert to stop immediately. Chris promotes it. Travis Scott literally said, P.S. show is sold out, but I finessed a bit more for y'all. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you allow even more people at a show that's already overpopulated in your hometown? There are going to be plenty of people out there that are going to say Travis Scott should serve no responsibility, should serve no blame for this situation. If you look at the history, right? Travis Scott has had a history of encouraging and allowing his fan base his concert goers to ignore security, ignore protocol and jump barricades. By the way, for people saying money, that's like, dude, I don't even like Travis Scott. It just feels like I, I, I don't want people to misunderstand what I'm saying. But like, as far as, uh, you know, as far as people sneaking into a venue or whatever, if I'm ever doing a venue or if I'm ever doing a live event and you have the opportunity to get into it for free, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say anything right now, but like, you know what I mean? This is where top 40 folks. No, I'm talking about encouraging people to jump barricades and shit. That's, that's what I'm referencing. As far as like, as far as live events goes, that's an artist bread and butter. So it 1000% is about the money. It 1000% is partially because like you're, you know, this is it. Like, that's why you overbook a venue. That's why you overcrowd. That's why you uh, do all this shit. I was just talking about like, you know, if you're able to, uh, I don't know, get better seats or better access for free. I'm, I'm not going to fault that stampede the front stage putting the lives of the security staff in jeopardy putting the lives of the medical staff in jeopardy putting the lives of your own concert goers in jeopardy for the feeling or emotion that you have in a show in the moment when you have a history of encouraging this type of behavior it's going to follow you it's going to grow and evolve it's not just going to dissipate people are going to remember travis scott's cool with us doing that you remember his show from five years ago from four years ago from three years ago where he told us that we could just ignore security and just start a mosh pit start a, start a riot you remember when he told us that before we can do it again and then you see that he's allowing more people at a show that's already looking overcrowded maybe the artist just shows up and, and they don't look at any of the specifications the numbers they don't look at where they're performing even though i find that extremely hard to believe for safety measures i would assume that they would be told something because even the artists live themselves are at jeopardy when you have this many people at a show that's why i said i don't want to attend shows that traditionally have a younger crowd because younger crowds are typically easily influenced even by something that is a horrible suggestion by the artists themselves now we have tweets that are coming out from other people saying that travis scott is the one who is looking at people as they've been carried out and he's being unresponsive and continuing the show this clip for instance in context is actually not as damaging as it looks travis scott was stopping the show periodically to allow people to be carried out when it was a little bit more calm so this is what, this is what we saw. Um, that makes it so much worse. In my opinion, if he saw people, okay. If he saw people that were being carried out and it wasn't like lights blinding him or anything. And he just straight up was like, all right, we're going to stop it periodically instead of stopping it all together. That to me does not, that to me is an indication that he is aware that shit is seriously gone wrong. 
okay? No, you turn the lights on, you stop the music, and you say, everybody, in a calm and collective manner, uh, we have some, and they are going to uh, help people out, and he did not do that, and instead, he sang to a fan that was being crowd surfed out of there towards the, the EMTs. You know what I mean? That's nuts. Okay, you saw people, but this video that Worldstar and TMZ people uh, posted, he says he has no idea. The f no, he pro look, the reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm saying this is because, or the reason why I brought up like the artist perspective at a situation like this is because like, that is a chaotic moment. Okay, that is a chaotic moment. It's a chaotic situation. People are feral, bro. People are literally feral. Okay, they do not know how to go to concerts anymore. Uh, I, COVID broke people's brains. They're like literally eating each other's faces in airports and shit. But an artist in a situation like that, an artist in a situation like that cannot be aware. He could be thinking like, this is the normal type of shit that happens on concerts. But if he's already stopped it at that point, then he should be fully stopping it rather than like, you know, stopping it a little bit and humming. <laughs> and, 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 uh, cause once you acknowledge it, once you recognize that the situation is up you definitely have the responsibility to stop it i'm trying to wait for security to give them the okay to start back up again but after so many people being injured and carried out you should just stop the show you should just stop because you don't want more people to continue to be hurt you have too many people in this particular area at one time you need to call off the show at some point it's no longer about entertainment it's about Bob said to continue the concert you cannot just close when you got fifty thousand and over a thousand individuals he said we have to worry about rioting riots when you have a group that that's young safety if you stop your show more than two times to allow someone to be carried out you need to take into account this is probably going to keep happening as my show gets more, and more yeah dude honestly like like i said if he had never stopped the show this is this is worse than anything else if he had never stopped the show and he like literally didn't have an idea of what was going on and he thought like you know some people are like you know dehydrated or some shit like that because that happens regularly in concerts and like emts will uh you know address the situation and whatnot but if he, if he is, you literally cannot just stop the show while people are still there. They're going to freak out. Dude, you are insane. Okay. You are wrong. It has happened many times in the past. The only reason why we are not talking about those times is because people didn't die because someone correctly did the right thing and stopped the show. You're just wrong. You're literally just wrong. Okay. My only, uh, my only take on this was like, look, if he did not know reasonably that, uh, uh, that like people were not in a good situation and they were being harmed or whatever, then he's not going to stop the music because he doesn't know. But if he, but it seems like he does. So more hype. It's not worth it. The people in the crowd are basically at the mercy of how the crowd is moving. Meaning if you want to move independent from a crowd of thousands and thousands of people, you won't be able to. You have to go where they're going. You have to move where they're moving. If they move forward, you have to move forward unless you're at the very back, which no one wants to be. And I'm telling people who are watching this video, you should be a certain height when you're going to certain shows. I wouldn't even recommend you go to certain shows unless you're at least 5'10". Last but certainly not least are clearly the concert goers themselves, the people that are just so willing to ignore any safety protocols, ignore any restrictions, any guidelines. People who are so excited at the idea of entertainment that are so willing to ignore anything possibly going on anywhere else, but so desperately want to live in the moment that they're willing to ignore the possibility of anyone behind them getting injured, being walked and run over. At some point, you have to have a level of accountability for yourself and for the common folk around you. Like, yo, maybe these rules are in place not because they want to control us, but because people need to be safe. Everyone isn't built the same. It shouldn't have to be that unique of a thing for you to be able to tap the person next to you and be like, yo, tap the person next to you say there's an emergency and for that information to be received in a very holy short shit they had the horsies out dude that's wild that's wild dude time frame so that everyone can look around and be like yo 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 we gotta we gotta chill but no one's paying attention because the concert matters more travis deleted a tweet about sneaking people in at a concert a few months ago dude yeah that stuff listen between you and i you know and the thirty one thousand six hundred and fifty nine people that are watching that sort of stuff is like that's not a fucking reason to be like, oh my God, he's like morally responsible for this. The real reason why he's morally responsible for this is because he was aware and he didn't stop the show. Okay. Like that's him. Like actually being like, I do care about my fans. Like I will sneak you in to the show. Okay. Like shut up. Like you're pointing to a deleted tweet about him. Like sneaking fans in is not like, 
stop. You're, you're, yeah, someone correctly pointed this out. You are diluting the issue with your bad takes, okay? You are literally diluting the issue with your bad takes. If your goal is to say, like, I think Travis Scott is responsible, pointing to him being like, hmm, he snuck fans in or whatever the f is just like, okay, yeah, he did that. Wow, a, a bad guy, okay? Bad guy, uh, wow, a bunch of, bunch of narcs in the chat, dude. Just like when I run a top of the hour ad break, the first of the day, I tell you different methods of avoiding the ad break, okay? Because I don't want you to watch an ad. Sorry, it's just the truth. I don't want you to watch an ad. So I tell you there are things that you can do. Some of those things I can't tell you anymore, but I used to tell you. You already know what those things are. And then other methods like subscribing with $5 subscription or for free with a Twitch Prime, okay? Did you sneak into a cinema once as a kid and now have to defend this issue law? No, I just, I, I don't, I don't care about like artists, you know, hooking lucky fans up and shit like that. I, I don't, I don't think that's like not, why delete the tweet now then? Yes, probably because many people are using it to be like, this is what's going on. The real problem there is that he didn't stop the concert. That's the real problem. He did not stop the concert after he figured out that people were being escorted out and being crowd surfed that's not that's unacceptable dude that's completely unacceptable not as not as unacceptable as like going through a one minute ad break which i'm going to serve to you right now like i said twitch prime is free as long as you have an amazon prime it'll help you avoid the ads if you would like to no longer see them but uh here's the ad break now like oh dude he used to sneak fans into his venues it's like yeah dude that's significantly that's as damning as like live nation overbooking uh, and and in uh, like selling uh you know ten thousand extra tickets, dude. Let me think. Which one is worse? Travis Scott looking the other way to allow his fans to get a better view of the concert venue, or like Live Nation overbooking it with a hundred, uh, you know, ten thousand extra tickets? I don't. Oh, I don't know. Which one will contribute more to the craziness, dude? What do you think he? he you think he has like this like secret cloak where he like made invisible ten thousand fans? Is that what happened? And he snuck them in? No. Shut up. I'm a fan of Travis, but he does encourage this type of recklessness. One of his fans in the past jumped from the second story balcony and became paralyzed. You can hear him tell him, you can hear him telling him to do it. Yeah, I mean, he's an asshole for sure. That's really fucked up. <sighs> what this dude is talking about is the kind of shit that happens at metal concerts, mosh pits, walls of death have really good codes of conduct where people know want to take care of each other. This type of thing happens in a situation without camaraderie. Dude, people get brutalized at things like that too. I don't know why you guys are making it seem like, like you're comparing the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst to here. This is Linkin Park. Uh, this is the clip that's like going around. Hey, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo. We got a little problem Pick up here. Up. Pick them up right Everybody now. Everybody up. Sorry, you guys. We got to look out for safety first, for real. Nobody gets hurt. That's hey, number yo. one. Hey, yo. We'll play this shit, the whole shit again if you guys get up, if you guys are all right. There's a video of Travis Lee telling the crowd to beat someone up because they took his shoe too. Dude. <laughs> There's a lot of videos from this thing. It's a major event. And people were saying that Travis Scott was telling people to beat up a 10 year old baby. Yo, beat that 10 year old's ass. Like, no, he fucking wasn't doing that. Okay. That's not. Okay. Watch yourselves. Hey, yo, man. We know we've been stressing all night about being cool. And this is the reason why. Let's go over it one more time. When someone falls, what do you do? When someone falls, what do you do? The whole thing was a demonic ritual, but we're not ready for it. Barack Obama said the whole thing was a demonic ritual, but we're not ready for that convo. Yeah, brother. Dude, the thing about the thing about Travis Scott concert is that like it literally does look demonic. Okay? The aesthetic is demonic. It's all about raging. It looks like that Faustian uh, you know. The, the, the Travis Scott, like the, the Travis Scott, like imagery unironically looks like that devil, the Vulcan oh, with the big mouth. I, I, you know what I'm talking about? Can someone find me that shit? It literally it does. It straight up, it, it straight up does look demonic as Travis fans are tweeting uh, this of him uh, stopping a concert. Yeah, so that, that is not as like uh, good as the Travis fans uh, think this is. That means he is capable of stopping a, of concert, and he did it. So <laughs> it's kind of worse, uh, I think. Everybody over here, 
take a step back. If you on this side, I took two steps back to the This literally destroys like 90% of the arguments that Travis Simpson are making about like how he didn't know, how he there was no reason why he could have, and all this other shit. So the reality is like I want you guys to get see where I'm coming from. It's also a smaller venue for sure. But the reality is like these things are super chaotic. Okay, these events are super chaotic. It's literally like supposed to be controlled chaos. Okay. So obviously there's going to be things that go awry in situations like this. Always, always. That's normal. It just happens. Um, you know, in, in a festival organizers, like sole purpose for the most part is to ensure that like that is minimized or completely, uh, does not happen at all. Um, and the worst possible situation is when people die, especially eight young people who went to the, uh, Travis Scott concert. Like that is the, the worst of the worst thing that could happen. Right. And my point is, you know, he could, he has the capability. He has done this in the past. He should have done that there. I did not know what level of information he had judging by bits and pieces of clips. I did not know that he was already stopping uh, the concert and then, but just kept going, stopping to like let people in and kept going over and over and over again. That makes it so much worse in my opinion. It makes it so much worse in my opinion because like, oh here, this is what I was going to show. Yeah, literally. Oh, fuck. Fiona, you scared the fuck out of me, girl. What the fuck? Yeah, this. Look at this. Literally, dude. No, he's not saying who told me to stop. That's wrong. That's misinfo, dude. You're wrong. He's not saying who told me to stop. He's saying put both your hands up or some shit. I forget what he actually is saying there. But he's not saying who told me to stop. That's like, but it doesn't matter. He's saying your hand, put your hands in the sky or some shit. Like it's, it's clear that he's saying that too. Watch the clip. He literally said that. Oh my God. None of this matters. I already think he's at fault, dude. I already think because he knew that it was like shit was fucked up and he kept going. Okay. I don't know why you have like additional brain rot where you have to be like, he's lying. He's saying, who told me to stop? Kill the man. Um, nah, 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 nah. Like I've already think that he's at fault. The moment that he knows that fucking people are like, the moment that he is like already aware that people are being like escorted out and he just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. That's he's already absolutely at fault you don't have to like go back and and uh you know make shit up he did not say it dude it's so stupid so your point is he personally wanted people to die for ritualistic reasons really no dumbass i don't believe in that sh occult shit you idiot i'm simply stating that like anyone who does believe in any of that are going to literally look at this and go this is the this is it this is gonna break people's brains defending millionaires again i see class solidarity i mean this is literally criminal criminal negligence Travis Scott also left his former manager for dead when he had a seizure and then fired him because he didn't vibe with epileptics. Wait, what? Oh, that, dude. Racist EDM metal fan self-reporting. And I'll just say it, some genres lack culture more than others. Bro, that tweet has one like, dude. You are literally... That tweet has one retweet and one like. Why? Why? If you're going to make a point about, like, people being racist towards rap music uh, concert goers, then, like, at least find something that's, like, a little bit more... You can find someone with any opinion on the internet. You know that, right? Travis has literally told fans to beat up a guy for stealing his shoes during concert. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. I want to finish this thing. Here. Here he is, stopping another concert. You got him? You got him? Huh? Yo, let's get a medic up here. Oh, y'all got him. I just want to make sure you make it out okay. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that concerts can potentially stop? And the artist, when he stops the music in the middle of a concert or a festival, could actually stop without like riots ensuing? That's so odd, man. What a weird thing. Why are Travis Scott fans like literally self reporting this if they're posting this? This just completely destroys their the argument. You, you got the wrong take on this clip, bro. Wait, what? I got the wrong take on this clip. I got the right take. My fucking point is literally that like artists do have the capability of doing that. Stopping concerts. Travis Scott himself has the capability of doing that. And he didn't do it. 
And the reason why I originally thought he didn't do it was because I thought like it's, you know, these things are super chaotic and he did not realize the severity of the situation. But now that I know that he literally stopped the concert midway through multiple times, but then kept it going for another hour. Well, now he did know. So he has no reason not to stop it permanently. That's nuts. The only reason is a financial reason. Okay. You don't want to stop it because you don't want to refund tickets. You don't want to stop it because this shit's being live streamed on Apple. Okay. That's the reason why in that moment, and you're also probably you're high off the adrenaline. You're like, you know, ready to perform and shit. He stopped in a smaller venue on the bigger venue is more difficult to see, bro. I know, but he did see, and he did stop. He just didn't stop permanently. And that's my point. So therefore looking at the fact that one, Travis Scott has stopped uh, concerts in smaller venues in the past when he found out that like a, a a fan is like not in a good position. And two, the fact that Travis Scott stopped this festival, the Astroworld concert, the headline on the first night, stopped it briefly, but did not stop it permanently when shit was completely out of control, implies that, you know, he, he could have prevented it and he didn't. More than the lives. Horrible crowd, horrible venue, Horrible organizers, horrible jurisdiction, horrible response from the artist in my opinion. I'm not saying this is Travis Scott's fault for those deaths, but I'm saying that you should be able to in real time look at a situation and determine whether or not it is going to get worse. Knowing the type of behavior that you've encouraged, maybe not created, but encouraged with your past behavior, you should be able to predict, hey, this isn't probably gonna go well. I'm a huge artist. Also, if you stop being racist, why don't you talk about the metal bands? What? Dude, you're a weirdo, dude. <laughs> like, I already did. I said that this shit happens at concerts regularly. It happens at smaller venues. It happens in large venues. It happens in festivals regularly. What? I am not like a... If you think that I'm doing this or I have like even a crumb of like bias here because Travis Scott is black and also uh, a, a rapper, you are psychotic, okay? That's insane. Like, that is a completely insane psychotic thing. Are there actually racist dudes out there that are literally using this as an opportunity? Yes, there are. There are. Are there people who are saying even that like, oh, this never happens in rock music venues or whatever. The and it only happens at rap for some reason. They're also wrong. Like it, th this does happen at rock concerts. You just don't hear about it because partially because it doesn't get to this level. I have a ton of success. I'm in my hometown. People are already getting injured. I've already said that I've gone against protocol myself as the person who can have a huge deciding factor in whether we continue the show or not. And I'm still going to keep it going. No, I'm sorry. You, can, you can't get that one off. I know for a fact there were people that were unresponsive and probably already dead while the concert was still happening. And there were enough people that said, fuck that, my, my experience in this fun matters more than this person that could possibly be dying next to me. It's insane. Concert culture is not a good culture to me. Y'all just be mindful of this the next time you plan on seeing a big artist, a huge artist. Look at the artist's background, what they've promoted in the past, uh, if they've always abided by safety regulations, if they've always uh, prioritized the lives of their concert goers. You need to consider these things because you are very very likely putting your own life in danger just by trying to go have a good time businesses like live nation that don't care one fuck about any of the people that are attending but care about their bottom line the most and people like the artists themselves that are somewhat negligent and are willing to ignore the safety and the risk associated with allowing their fan base to do whatever it is that they want and go crazy and, and, and quote unquote rage at their show the situation was handled horribly on all sides in my opinion and rethink the next time you want to go Ah, <sighs> yeah. All, All right. heard by now, but last night Travis Scott's Astro World concert was a disaster. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>